Good day everyone. Today we will discuss food chain and food web. What is food chain? Food chain is a series of organisms wherein one organism is eaten by another. It is a linear sequence of organisms through which nutrients and energy pass as one organism eats another. Here is an example of a food chain. The grass is eaten by the grasshopper. The grasshopper is eaten by the mouse. The mouse is eaten by the cat. The cat is eaten by the hawk. And when the hawk dies, its body undergoes decomposition through the help of the fungi. Here is another example of a food chain. So the primary producers are the planktons. And the primary producers are eaten by the primary consumers. The primary consumers are eaten by the secondary consumers. The secondary consumers are eaten by the tertiary consumers. The tertiary consumers are eaten by the quaternary consumers. And when the quaternary consumers die, its dead bodies will be acted upon by the decomposers. A food chain is composed of producers, consumers, and consumers could be primary, secondary, or tertiary. A primary consumer feeds on producers, a secondary consumer feeds on primary consumer, and a tertiary consumer feeds on secondary consumer. Aside from producers and consumers, a food chain is also composed of decomposers. Are producers. Producers are the first link in the food chain. They are plants that can manufacture food through photosynthesis. That's why they are called autotrophs. And in this example, grass is a producer. Now, what are consumers? So consumers could be an herbivore, an omnivore, or a carnivore. So what is an herbivore? Herbivore is a plant eater. And here is an example of an herbivore. Omnivore is meat and plant eater. And here is an example of an omnivore. Carnivore is a meat eater. And here is an example of a carnivore. In a food chain, we have what we call prey and predators. Prey is an animal that is eaten by predator. And predator is an animal that eats other animals. And here is an example of a prey. So in this food chain, the bird is a prey and the snake is the predator. What are decomposers? Decomposers are a group of organisms that break down dead organic material and waste. They return vital nutrients to the soil through decomposition and they form the final link in a food chain. Examples of decomposers are bacteria, fungi, and worms. So, in a food chain, it is made up of producer, consumer, and decomposer. This illustration shows the energy flow in its trophic levels. What is trophic level? Trophic level is the level occupied by an organism. It is also defined by how many energy transfers separate it from the basic input of the food chain. As you see, the producers have the most energy with 10,000 kilocalories. What happens to the energy as it moves up the trophic level? The energy decreases as it moves up the trophic level. Why? Because energy is lost as metabolic heat. As the organisms do things for survival like hunting for prey, energy in the form of heat is lost. Now, what happens if producers are removed in the food chain? The herbivores who are fed directly on producers would suffer, and the rest of the organisms of the food chain would suffer. What is a food web? Food web is composed of many food chains. It is a complex food chain. Here is an example of a food web. Now, can you identify at least two food chains in this food web? Well, green plant is eaten by the goat and the goat is eaten by the lion. And here's another one. Green plant is eaten by the mouse and the mouse is eaten by the owl. 
I hope that you learned something in this video. Answer now your module 5. You may answer in any sheet of paper and submit a screenshot of it to your teacher. Happy answering! Number 1. Which of the following statements best describes a food web? A. A system that is made up of a community of organisms and their environment. B. A blackbird eats fruit and then spreads the fruit seeds through its excretions. C. All life is connected by the transfer of energy among organisms and their environment. D. Many individual organisms of the same species that live in the same space and that share resources. Number 2. Which food might a first level consumer eat? A. Fish. B. Berries. C. Bacteria. D. Worms. Number 3. Which of the following organisms can make their own food from sunlight? A. Decomposers. B. Producers. C. Consumers. D. Carnivores. How do you describe a food chain? A. A long chain made of food. B. Process of preparing food. C. Food were locked by chain. D. Pathway that energy and nutrients flow through the ecosystem. Number 5. Why do all food chains start with plants? A. Because plants are easily grown. B. Because plants are nutritious. C. Because plants can produce its own energy. D. Because plants do not require energy. For the Let's Create part of your module, construct a food web using cattle features of organisms. Use yarn or thread to represent the arrows. Place your output in a clean band paper. Be creative and be guided with rubrics below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click, like, share, and subscribe.